as how you doing? This is Bang etc. And I'm here to bring you the review for Fire Brigade players Manga Chapter 103. So we have you know the apes that uh Hinawa, Vulcan, uh Maki from um, um Victor was seen within this chapter as well. No to Maki in this chapter, I just realized that. But we see you know members of the ape just dealing with the fire within the city, you know, evacuating people if necessary, but mostly dealing with the multiple amounts of flame humans we are told that they just keep coming in numbers and they don't seem to be coming stopping anytime soon and Obi realizes because of the mass, mass number of flame humans there then it must be the whole work of the bugs thing and they basically just figure out within themselves that um somebody we need must somebody must be sending out the bugs and they reckon that it's the plasma user as the chapter goes on they do you find the plasma user they locate her and then they say yeah M Mackie says yeah Arthur this is where she is meet me there we'll take her out together do I think these two can take um them out to um take her out together um I'm going to say no especially if She's a uh, Miss H is as strong as Corona Sharona, however you pronounce his name, is seems to be displaying if, if she is on his level or higher, I definitely think Arthur and Mackie, even if they do team up, they won't be able to defeat them. But I just wanted to mention something that I noticed. I've noticed it before, but it just really started to hammer in home a bit more within this chapter. Is how underused Sister Iris is as a character. Yes, I know for from a spiritual slash religious standpoint within the series she's important because she's helping the spirits of the people who turn into flame um flame humans to be able to pass on to the other side. But as an audience member reading the series, I can't say watching it because there's no anime yet. Please come soon. But yeah, as a as a audience member just watching her, she's very underused because at the end of the day she's just there to say the blessing and then that's it. She's essentially doing nothing, she's done nothing. When she's present, that's what she does. And I do believe there was one or two arcs where she wasn't even present at all. So I really wish that the mangaka would do something more with this character because she is probably one of the most unliked characters and that is not her fault as well that is completely the mangaka's fault because he's not given her nothing to do within the series like i said I'm, i've noticed that before hammered in within this chapter so i'd really wish that they do something with her i don't know this like oh, just do something with him there's, there's ways you can make her more of an interesting fighter i mean more of an interesting person <laughs> Yes, I wanted to be a fighter. But yeah, so um we have everything involving Shinra, the fifth pillar, and Sharon. Fifth pillar in car her the name is, is saying, you know what, you're both my enemies. I'm not going with you. But because of the vibe that she was betraying within this chapter, every time her eyes changed, I reckon Char um Sharon Coron, how you pronounce his name, could he I reckon that she could be persuaded to join the dark side. So, yeah, that's just the vibe that I was getting from that. And the end of the chapter, we go back to the apes. They're still doing the things. Flame humans coming come in multiple numbers. And just to end off the chapter, we see a one-horned flame human. Now, we need to remember, Shinra's mom is also a one-horned one flame human. Um... It's not Shenna's mum because the horn is coming up from a different place. And, you know, it leaves off on a good cliffhanger. And I don't blame you, slash, I wouldn't be surprised if you got hyped, like, oh my gosh, one horn, flame human kind of thing. How strong is it going to be? And I was almost like that. Then I remembered flame humans throughout the whole series. I've been pretty much a disappointment. Now, the flame human that we were first introduced to, just, you know, normal standard flame human, I can understand them not being strong because at the end of the day, the normal, pe normal people combusting randomly. Well, randomly. 
um, but then we got the awakened, flamed human, and we saw one of those, and that that got worked fairly quickly by off our um, fifth brigade chapter versus fifth brigade chapter. I mean, arc, sorry. So that just got worked. So that's another type of flame human that was useless. And then later on down the lines, we got the giant flame humans, and again, those got worked. And I say those, it wasn't just one. Each brigade fought a giant, if I remember correctly, each brigade fought a giant a giant flame human and they all worked them. So, flame first gens flame humans have not been fit, um, fairly oppressive. So, when I saw this one horned one, I just, I just thought to myself, okay, is this just going to get worked? Like all the others. I'm hoping I am proved wrong and this flame human, you know, does bits, does something um of interest, comes out strong. It's gonna be going up against Hinawa, who has shown to be fairly skilled with his flame hum um um with his Gen 2 ability, and then we got Obu who just no ability, straight up arms and weapons. And you know he does his he does his thing as well. So it should be a good fight, especially if this one horned is strong. That's what I gotta say. Because because I'm on the on the side of thinking nah, this flame this new gen one the one horn it's not gonna be strong. It's gonna just get worked because I'm not getting hyped for um. Because I don't see much potential for this one horn, I am going to give it a three star rating. And if I thought, yeah, this this flame humor is going to come as something impressive, I'd have given it the four. Like always, guys, I want to give you your thoughts and impressive um thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.